Happy Friday, everybody, and uh, double whammy. Happy New Year, everybody. It is Friday, Jan uh, December 31st, and it's a cold one here in Colorado. Um, got my gloves on, keeping nice and warm, and uh, uh, today i uh, got a pleasure to bring to you a nice uh, pre-owned 2020 Newmar Mountain Air 4569 floor plan. We just recently got this in stock, and uh, uh, it's got just over 8,000 miles, but um, wanted to just show this one to you. To, for those of you that might be looking for a nice luxury coach, it's pre-owned, it's got good horsepower, good good towing ability, um, even if you're looking to go full-time, this one right here can, can get the job done. Why don't we start up front here. <clears throat> um, as you're coming forward, um, just something to point out, the Mountaineers come standard with these Gerard Nova awnings. If you notice how they're pitched, they come out and then they pitch down in the middle part. And you've got these nice LED lights here. I've got them on right now just to light up your patio area in the evenings. And then um, you also have on your entrance awning here, you've got an LED strip light there to light up this entrance area. And then some things you can't see, but um, underneath here, we've got LED lights that run underneath the slide that kind of give you some nice effects. If you go around and back and under, you can kind of see that light I'm talking about underneath the slide there. <clears throat> and um, right behind the, the steer here, we got your docking lights. And also, this is where you've got dual fuel. You've got 150 gallons of fuel that can go on board on this coach here. Uh, these tires, these tires, these steer tires are 360, they're 365s, 22 and a half. You got an independent front axle. This is a Freightliner SL chassis, um, and it has 500 horsepower, 1,650 foot-pounds of torque, 20,000 pound tow hitch, so it can tow quite a bit. Coming down this first bay here, we've got it's just some good open storage. If you get a shot at those components, those black components up in there, it's already pre-wired for 12 volt and 110. If someone wants to add a refrigerator freezer combo on a slide tray, it's already prepped for that. <clears throat> and coming down the next bay here, the previous owner's left, he's left behind some, some flares, some road flares there, but um, in that box there, it's just, or not flares, but um, uh, if, you, if you need to pull off the side of the road, you've got something, some little warning um, signs to let, you, let the drivers know your approaches. So we left those in there. So we've got the electric slide trays on both ends. So this goes all the way out on both sides. And you've got this little switch here to run them in and out on both sides. you got another one here. So it's got the two electric slide trays. This one's electric as well. Those will tow up to a thousand pounds per tray. And we've left the tray out of the, they've left the tray out of this one for taller items. It's nice to have for the third storage bay there. If you notice in here, you've got the central vac over here on the side. This is where you can clean the filter out. <clears throat> um, you also have some control panels in here for your slide outs. Uh, these white panels over here, some control panels for the Gerard, the two Gerard Nova awnings. And it also has um, your satellite and Blu-ray. It's all hooked up in here. And when we get around to the other bay, we'll kind of swing around here. It does have an outside entertainment. So you've got a, a 43 inch Samsung LED smart TV, Bose sound bar, and then this comes out and it'll pivot. So for outside entertainment. <clears throat> Come on back here. So you've got the tag axle is a steerable axle. So it'll turn, not steerable, but passive steer. So this will turn up to 12 degrees as needed at speeds of 20 miles per hour when you're driving it or less. It'll turn up to 12 degrees. Um, when you're going to reverse, it'll automatically align itself straight and dump. And if it's in the tag dump position on the, in the driver's cockpit area, the air will deplete itself automatically when you go into reverse and that moves all the weight to the drive axle right here. Um, that way cuts back on any kind of tire scrub on the tag axle here. 
Uh, come around this door here, we've got the diesel exhaust fluid. You can fill it from here or you can fill it from the other side. That's a 15 gallon tank. We've got the chassis batteries and that red toggle is just a, an on off switch to kill the chassis batteries. <clears throat> Coming around back, we got, so it's a side radiator, We've got 500 horsepower, easy to access all your belts, oil, transmission fluid, engine oil, um, your filter reading is easy to get to here. And then up top, we've got the Oasis. You can see our, we're below the, the, the fill line, so this needs to be filled up. That reservoir is what holds your glycol. The glycol is what's needed for the Oasis hydronic heat. That's what heats your coach, so it gives you continuous hot water, and it heats your coach. It's got two electric elements, plus the diesel burner. Down below here, we've got the 15, 000, or 20,000 pound, excuse me, 15,000 pound tow hitch, pre-wired for brake controller. And over here, we've got a uh, Voyager plug. If you've got a camera inside or on the exterior of a stackable or any kind of trailer, you can get the feed from the trailer camera, switch back and forth between coach, camera, trailer camera. All right, coming around to the driver's side, um, we got the exit door here. So this opens up, there's a ladder that deploys to um, an egress door that all the mountaineers are going to get that, and that's in the master bathroom. When we go inside, I'll show it to you. Then we got the diesel exhaust fluid. I showed you that on the other side. So this is where you fill it from the driver's side. A lot of times when you pull into a fuel station, it can be difficult to turn these big guys around. So it's nice having the access point to fill it on either side. All right, coming down to the wet bay here. Uh, this is your dump station. So you've got a retractable water hose. This comes out and it's a push button. Feed it back in. It's got a whole house water filtration system. It's wet. This coach is winterized right now. But it also has a macerator pump. So this can actually grind up all your solids and your black water and pump, it'll literally pump the water, the wastewater uphill if you needed it to. Um, you've got some digital readings in here for your fresh water, gray water, and black water. Here's where your whole house city water uh, filter goes. Uh, RV SantaCon uh, for when you wanna activate the, the macerator pump, that's where you turn that on at. And then it has a sewage rinse here so hook goes here that sends water into the black water tank and it'll rinse out your holding tanks. Keeps the odors down in the living quarters. Coming down to the next bay, we've got your 50 amp cord. So you pull this out, this will pull out. And on a cold day, even colder than today, these cords get real stiff. So they're, they're not the easiest to store, but it has a little switch here on the, on the door. So it makes life easier when it goes comes to putting these up. That's 50 feet. So you got a 50 foot cord that'll reach just about any shore power pedestal. Next bay here, we've got the Oasis Hydronic Heat. That was mentioned you in the back where that reservoir is, where the glycol was low. So that's what's needed to heat this coach. Um, there's a reset on it. Occasionally you get a get a, a fault, red fault light inside on the on the silver leaf display and there's a reset button right on the bottom here to help reboot it sometimes it needs to be refired on the opposite side of the patio area we've got these storage trays again again these come all the way out we've got two of them and then we got all your all your batteries here we've got eight AGM batteries on a slide tray. Those are your house batteries. And if you notice up top here, we've got 
Part of that Girard package, I mentioned the Girard Nova awnings on the patio side. Well, if you notice, if you get around on this side, Jody, the, the slide cover is a Girard. See how that's angled? It's at a pitch. That's a standard feature on a mountain air. Um, also, your Girard window awnings. You've got one on the back in the bedroom area, and you got another one here in the living area. Those are electric. Gives you some nice shade coverage if the sun's setting on the horizon and or, or sunrise, either one. You want to block some of that. You've got some little push button shade controls inside to, to bring those out. <clears throat> in this foot in this bay here, so you've got you, you do have a lot of spare fuses here, but a lot of your fuses for the chassis are going to be located here and in these boxes here. These are all the wiring harnesses tied into the Freightliner chassis. And then this switch here I'm holding down is the generator slide. So this has a um, 12, should be a 12,500 BTU generator. You've got 860 hours on it. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned the miles. It has just over 8,000 miles on this coach. Uh, this is where your air horns are located, windshield wiper fluid, your fuel filter for the generator is located in here. If you need to replace headlamps, um, it's nice to be able to slide this forward and access it. I'm gonna come around on that side. So right here, you've got a, this is actually hot water. So you, after a long 300, 400 mile trip, you want to clean the, all the bugs off the windshield, hook up a hose to it. You've got instant hot water that helps clean the, the front of the coach here. And then you do have an air chuck in there where if you want to tap into the air on the coach to put air in the tires or any other vehicle tires, you can access that right there. Let's back in. All right, why don't we go inside? Okay, so this is a 2020 Mountain Air, and all the 2020 Mountain Airs are gonna, if it's on the Freightliner chassis, which this one is, um, It'll have this digital OptiView system here, uh, which is nice. It's got a kind of a black lighting on the on the back with the white lettering, makes it really easy to really easy to read what's going on here. But you've got uh, this on the left side of the steering wheel. It just works kind of like a phone does. You got a home button, so I can push here and I can go through all my different settings here: trip one, trip two, my gauges, fuel economy, cruise control. Um, this does have tire pressure monitoring, so it does have TPMS. Um, comfort drive is through the vehicle configuration, which is going to be right here. If I go into it, you go down to steering effort. That's where you can control this, the tension on this steering wheel. So this steering wheel, it, it auto centers. Um, so, you know, if, if, you're, if you're driving this coach and you're going back, It'll, it'll go automatically back to, back to center to take you straight back if you get your target lined up on your backup monitor over here. Um, it will uh, help you take you straight back. Plus it does have the, the lanes, the hap, what do they call it, the heptic view where it actually will turn. As you turn the wheel, the lines will turn back and forth on this display here. Um, it does have 360 camera view. So these are all the different camera views I've got displayed at the moment. If I click this one here, that's going to give me a 360, kind of a bird's eye view. Plus, you're going to see the rear of the coach. That's really nice when you're driving and you're going down a three or four lane highway and you can see all the vehicles around you. Um, also, when you're parking it, you can see the, the striped lanes that you're trying to park the coach into. Uh, really helps there. So, And then on this monitor here, you've got the radio, media center, Sirius satellite radio, Bluetooth. You can pair your pair your, um, 
phones to it. It's got navigation. Should have the Rand McNally maps. So, got a map. It's just all the GPS. Um, and then this auxiliary zone. So if you pan over to the actual monitor by the uh, passenger seat, if I want to go in here and take it from maps and go into a different setting, I can switch this around. Uh, let's see here. Main. There's back to maps, camera. So there's some different views you can get for the um, the passenger. Uh, these seats, six-way power seats, they are heated, and then the, they both have foot rests on them, and they both swivel around to join the living room. Um, you got a tilt and telescope steering wheel. And then if you notice over here, I've got my phone on this little charge pad. So it is a wireless. You can see we've got a green light. So that, my phone's charging right now, sitting on this pad. And then the passenger has their own charge pad as well. Which is gonna be right next to it here. The charge pad here. And also your passenger has a little folding table here. If you wanna have a computer while you're driving it. Going down the road, grabbing lunch, get a little countertop space for the passenger. <clears throat> and then over here on the wall, we've got some uh, patio lights, your vi visor controls, and actually your step cover. So I'm gonna hold this down. I don't know if you can get a shot of that step well covers coming up there. That back down. And then when you're coming in the coach, I, mean, I got all the lights on right now, but there's a switch right here that says ceiling lights. It's, a, it's basically a little toggle switch. So you tap that one time and that's gonna turn all the ceiling lights on. Um, you know, when you're coming in, it's dark outside. Um, let's see, back over here, the steering, I was, one thing I forgot to mention, um, I think this is the year where they switched from it is a six-speed Allison 4000 series transmission. Um, it, they've moved the six-speed transmission from the armrest, which is over on the left side here. So now it's actually on the steering stock right here. So if you get, if you get a shot here, this is your drive, neutral, and reverse. So basically I just flip this forward into D to, for drive, flip it back for reverse, manual automatic transmission. It's a three-speed, it actually has a three-speed um, engine brake. So if I pull this one time, that's gonna be in low. As you can see on the display, it says low. And then if I go into the next setting, I've got medium, next in the highest setting and high. So it's a three-stage engine brake. <clears throat> okay. Let's go to the back. So, well, before we head to the back, we've got um, overhead here is kind of the control panel for the coach. Um, you're going to have two of these screens. This one up front here, will they do communicate with one another. So the one in the bedroom, if you change the setting on here, it changes in the bedroom. But um, basically, it, your, this is your home page where you can view your fresh water, gray water, black water, how much power each leg's being pulled on the coach. Um, you can check on your voltage level on the house batteries and your chassis batteries. And then you've got some different, um, your AC power, DC power settings are in here, your generator controls, um, water pump, auto fill, water levels, climate control. Here's where you can control the Oasis. Turn the burner on, you got your two electric elements. Um, and then you got some floor heat. It does have uh, three different zones for your for heat, it's got electric heat strips, or not heat strips, but um, electric grid beneath the floor tile. And then this this panel here is for your awnings, uh, the wine guard over the air antenna. These are some security lights. These are your privacy screens. So I'm holding those down. I'm gonna pull up the night shades. And if you notice over here on the left, as this shade's coming up, 
We do have a power window, so if you're going through a toll booth <clears throat> and it does have a slide, so this window will slide. Got the engine off right now, so it's not gonna slide for me. <clears throat> but uh, going back up top here, privacy shades, um, entry door awning control, entry door light, slide controls, and then these are gonna be some um, step controls, Wi-Fi router control. So, and up top here, it does. This does have the uh, high definition satellite dish. I want to say it's for Direct TV, but I, I believe that's what it is. <clears throat> You've got the 43-inch monitor up front. And you got some storage. Here's the Wi-Fi. This is that router. So it does have Wi-Fi. And then over here, we've got um, your multiplex lighting. So you tap on the screen that wakes everything up. Um, this is in, it's in the lighting system here. So if I want to, if I want to turn the ceiling lights off or if I want to just dim them, you can hold this little panel here and drag that up and down to dim your lights. And that's for each different setting. Bathroom lights, bedroom lights, accent lights. That's a cool little feature. And if you hit the home button, I can control my shades in here. You notice the shades behind the TV are going up. And fan controls. And then each one of these panels will have a systems feature where I can operate the TV up and down. That's a 55 inch Samsung LED TV. Some good storage. Blu-ray player, it is, there's your DirecTV receiver, so they've left that behind. And um, if you kind of notice the thickness in the overhead, in the slide out here, so they keep the consistency in the header in all your slide outs, the same as from your ceiling to roof. So very well insulated coach. You got three inch thick side walls, plus they're keeping the thickness in your slide toppers or slide uh, headers as well. 4569 floor plan gives you lots of counter space here. Great workspace, lots of storage. Got some great storage here just for the kitchen area. You got some pull outs. These are dovetail cabinetry construction, all real wood construction here. Soft, I don't know if you noticed, but all your cabinet doors have a soft close feature on them. In the kitchen area, we got an induction cooktop. Let me get that fixed. It just came out, a little cutting board insert came out there. But this is removable. So if you want to take the induction cooktop outside and cook outdoors, you can. You can see where it's plugged in back here in the back, just unplug it. And actually for cleanup, if you want to clean up in here, take it out detail this area before you put it back in nice and convenient and your inserts you got little cutting board inserts in each one of those and that sits flush so you got a flush surface here down below we've got a dishwasher we got more storage these are um, let's see one of these some of these have the adjustable showing I you think know, like this one has adjustable showing. These are going to be some permanent ones over here on this side. So, and then we got full extension drawer glides. These are all soft clothes. We got four nice sized drawers here in the kitchen area. And then right here, this bar is permanent. So this whole slide, if you notice where this lip is, so when this slide comes in, it's going to slide over the top here, but open this up here and get some more storage. This coach is not lack lacking on storage, guys. Over on this side, you got some more overhead storage. Here's some more adjustable shelves.
double sink, stainless steel. Kind of, it's you know, residential light. You got this expandable faucet head here, really nice touch that Newmore does. The tile backsplash, nice look here. You've got some storage down below. You've got a place for a trash can, place to store your your covers. If you notice, we're missing the cover in the sink here, and it, that's where you store your covers when you're using the sink area. You got another pull out here. And we'll come around this side. I kind of work my way down this way and then we'll come back to the bedroom. But I showed you all the storage over here. Well, I didn't get to this. Here's your pantry storage. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six full extension drawers for your pantry area here. And then you got more storage here. And these are adjustable shelves. You can remove these shelves. If you notice back in here, let me turn the light on. We've got a hanging rod. If you wanted to use it for a closet, you can. And we've got these drawers down below. And then we got the Whirlpool refrigerator, ice box down below. And then it does have its own little mock locking mechanism. Keeps those nice and tight when you're going down the road. Uh, standard is the uh, freestanding chairs, the fixed chairs. And then this will expand. There's a leaf in the back. I'll show you when we get back to the bedroom. And there's two folding chairs that'll join this dinette so you can seat four comfortably around this dinette. And then you have all this overhead storage here. theater seating and then each one of these seats have a little push button recliners on them you got one on both sides and then there's USB ports in the in the middle there if you want to keep, keep your phone or keep your tablets charged while you're sitting here it's got little outlets there to plug into Some cup holders good storage for all the all the manuals, there's a little sliding. It's right here, there's all the fun remotes. Bose stereo controller, TV controllers, Gerard awning controller. But that's some nice storage that this has. And then your cup holders. It's kind of cool, they change colors. You just hold that down, you can do some different colors and little LED lights inside there. Uh, the sofa across from the theater seating, it is a, they call it, Newmar's term is it's called a dormy sofa. I just think it's easier to just call it a fold and tumble sofa. So you take these off. And this will come up. And there's a release, if I can get to it. Fold this out and fold this down. If you notice too, Jody, we've got some seat belts. So there's two seat belts in this couch. Fold this down, roll this out, plug it in. You got an air mattress here. So if you got guests with you, you got you could sleep. Another two more adults in this coach. Or if you get the kids with you, you got extra sleep in here. Pretty easy to set up. Okay, let's go around back. As you're coming to the back, Jody, if you shoot the floor, something to mention here. So there's no carpet. So Newmar builds that star foundation down below. I didn't talk about it outside, but it uh, stands for strong, true, and robust. And that allows them to build these big 30 foot full wall slides and actually put tile floor instead of carpet. See, this is all tile floor. This slide goes out and 90 degrees down. 
across from the pantry area you got the half bath little medicine cabinet above the faucet there if you notice uh, too I'm gonna go I'm gonna point something out when I'm in here but you got I mean everything's flush it's not like a bowl sitting on top of this so this is all quarry in here um, overhead here I always like to point this out but your house breakers if you can get a shot of that I'm, my big heads in the way so you've got the house breakers the fuses it's all out of the way if your slides are in you need to access your breakers not a big deal just walk down the center of the coach and you can access it with no problem and plus another plus factor is it's up up high and out of the way you know it's an area you don't want little kids opening doors and playing with electrical outlets we've got a sliding pocket door here this will close off for the bedroom uh, we got a king size bed. This is a, I believe it is a sleep. Yeah, this is a sleep number mattress. There's the two folding chairs I mentioned for the dinette. And then here's the hidden leaf. That's the leaf insert for it. And Newmar does a really nice job with like the accent lighting. If you look down below here, you got some nice lighting underneath, underneath the bed. You've got electrical outlets and, and USB ports on both sides of the bed. Overhead, we've got, um, there's an electrical outlet in, inside the cabinetry here. Um, if you've got CPAP machines, you can run, you can run your hoses out the bottom here and have the machine up, up top here. For those that can't be up top, you've got the uh, ledges here on both sides of the bed. Also, it has a touch screen. If you're laying in bed and you want to turn your lights on and off, you want to control all your shades, um, your controls are right here for that. And then across from the bed, we've got some wardrobe storage. Open these up here on that side lights on there's some lights in each one of those so you got some good hanging clothes storage here down below this flips down so this is a area where you can hook up your satellite system it comes with a blu-ray player that's all wired into the 43 inch samsung led tv for the bedroom and then these other five drawers so you got five drawers and plus the flip down panel there right in front of the bed here some nice full extension drawers you can say guys this is not lacking any storage and let's go back to the master bedroom or bathroom excuse me so we've got um corner shower it's a big shower though i mean it's got got plenty of room overhead sprayer here you've got the shower wand here you've got soap dispensers that are mounted to the wall there you've got a fold down bench seat all tile backsplash tile flooring and then for storage in the master bath cedar lined closet adjustable shelves we got Full extension drawers. Got three nice sized drawers here. And underneath the sink area. And just this storage just keeps going. We have double vanity sinks. got some medicine cabinet storage this KIB module here this is kind of the brains for the multiplex system throughout the coach if a technician needs to 
It's having any kind of glitches or anything. It's usually where they're at. They're working on it. Then you do have an electrical outlet in here if you need to keep something plugged in, but hidden and out of the way. And on this side, you've got more storage. And we've got, you get a shot in here. This is where the safe is located. More hanging storage, some adjustable shelves. And then earlier when I was talking about the exit door, here's the exit door. And this is where it opens up. And I mentioned that ladder. So this comes off here. When you get a shot, there's the ladder. So they just basically just, you flip it forward and it telescopes all the way down. And then this is just held on to, with magnets when you're storing it. All right, and then we got stackable washer dryer. And then down below the stackable washer dryer, we do have a little pull out drawer. There's all your hoses, central vacuum system. Okay, um, some tank sizes. I mentioned it's got a 150 gallon fuel tank. Um, it's got a 105 gallon fresh water tank, 65 gallon gray, 45 gallon black water tank. It's a 4569 floor plan. Um, let's see if I, if you guys have any questions on this coach or any other coach we have in stock, please feel free to reach out to me. I think it covers the majority that I can think of on this mountain there. Um, it's a gorgeous coach. Please come out and see us. Um, if you have any questions on this one or anything else we have in stock, here's my contact information. Um, you can reach me best on my cell phone at 720-539-4711 or shoot me an email at grussell at transwest.com. Guys, uh, uh, stock number, um, Avon stock number we were talking about is 5U211775. Uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Hope you guys stay safe out there. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next year. Bye-bye.